They were American royalty. He was young, handsome, and the son of one of America's most beloved presidents. She was beautiful, kind, and his loving wife. But today, nearly 13 years after their lives were tragically cut short, new details about the tense marriage between John F. Kennedy Jr. and his wife, Carolyn, have emerged. Join us right now, uh, his former personal assistant and the author of the new book, Fairy Tale Interrupted, Rosemarie Terenzio. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, this is a great book, and you Thank can tell you. that you write it with a lot of love. Thank I, you. I love the story you tell about how uh, one day you came in and you had a hangover, and he was he was packing up your supplies. Yeah, he was packing me up. He said, uh, I, I walked in, and I said, what are you doing? And he said, I said something like, you, you know, you might, might be the big kahuna everywhere else, but here, and I heard his partner, Michael Berman, who was my boss at the time, go, Rose, can you come in here? <laughs> and he said, you could be arrested in some states for the way you just spoke to him. Uh. And I was pissed also because he ripped my Howard Stern headshot, and I'm a huge Howard Stern fan. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And when you... I met Howard, he said, you have a crush on me, and you work for him. What's wrong with you? <laughs> but you developed this very close relationship, obviously, yeah. with John F. Jr., but, but also with Carolyn. And yes. one of the things that you felt so guilty about on that fateful day mm -hmm. was encouraging her to get on that plane because she didn't want to go. Yeah, I mean, I think it was, you know, it was one of those things where who knows if she would have ended up going anyway, but I always felt like having that conversation with her, you know, you, who you, knows? You write that, you, that her biggest complaint, she didn't feel like she was a priority perhaps in his life and didn't want to go to the wedding. Yeah, I think it's like the same ups and downs that everybody has in their marriage, but theirs was played out publicly. I mean, as I've said before, my parents didn't speak for three days over Christmas ornaments. Sure. I mean, so it, it, it wasn't, right. you know, my mom a million times didn't feel like a priority with right. my dad. Re real quickly, mm -hmm. uh, Rosemary, politics, was he going to eventually wind up in it? You know, he, it, he definitely talked about it and thought about it, but not until George was a success. Mm -hmm. He Had wanted to do that first. Yeah, and he really was passionate about that mm -hmm. and bringing people into the democratic process by glamorizing politics. And if you look at politics today, yeah. you know, before the 1990s, no politician would put their arm around a celebrity with you and get politics sexy. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hard to believe the tragedy that has fallen upon that family and that it's been 13 years since they passed away. Uh, check out the new book by Rosemary Terenzio, Fairy Tale Interrupted, no doubt. Great to meet you. Thank you. Great Good to meet you. Good luck on the too. book. Thank you very much. I'm not going to have her.